Hello everyone, how's it going? If you're wondering how I'm doing, well I'm doing pretty good today. School just ended today and I think kinda. And I'm gonna be a senior next year. Yeah, so for today's material study I have bamboo for you. It's becoming a very common uh, material uh, in speakers, uh, cutting boards, pans, different stuff like that. And it was actually a suggestion uh, from my friend and I was looking at the library, the Keyshell library, and I could not find an appropriate looking bamboo material. So I decided to just uh, experiment with it and then just make it myself and then make it available to everyone. So here we are, uh, me talking to you about bamboo. So let's get to it. All right, so if you look at this material, this uh, close shot of bamboo material, you can see that it's actually just like planks of bamboo attached to each other or glued to each other. I don't know how they attach them together. Um, so we're gonna have to do these lines here, these main lines, and then they're just like, they're just like these like thin lines uh, in the middle going from left to right, right to left, whatever. And then we're gonna have to work on that. And then there's a color differentiation. Um, we're gonna have to be able to do that as well. One thing I wasn't um, accurately able to mimic was these patterns here. Uh, but I was able to uh, render something similar. Uh, so let's get uh, into Keyshot. This is my cutting board, which I downloaded from uh, Keyshot library. Just gonna double click on it, we go to material graph. Uh, we're gonna do the thin strips first. So we right click, we go to material, we go to textures, we go to textures, and um, we wanna do brushed. Very well, let me just fix my camera a little bit, looks better. And we're just gonna, again, uh, click on it and then press C to see how it looks like. Obviously this looks pretty bad. Uh, first thing, we're gonna scale it down. Let's do 10, for example, I think 10 is good. And then we wanna rotate it to the other side. So we're just gonna change the angle to 90. I believe it's, uh, I believe it's good, we can change it later. Uh, Two-sided bump height, uh, that's fine. And we're going to have to change the length of these um, brush strokes. So right now it's one, I'm guessing it's like one millimeter. I don't know what one what. So I'm just going to change it to four perhaps. I think four is good uh, or 3.5 perhaps. Yep. We're just going to double check. Yeah, I believe uh, four is looking better. Contrast. You do want to uh, play with contrast, uh, so you will have that color differentiation. I'm just going to do two, and maybe more actually, three. That looks good. Levels, we can change it a little bit to just make it look more saturated. Uh, I believe four is good. And level fall off, uh, I'm just going to, we don't want to do any fall off. Uh, we're just going to zoom in. Uh, it's looking pretty decent. Uh, grain, I do want to have a little bit of grain, but not too much. So we're just going to do 0 0.1 and grain size, uh, we can just keep it at 1. Okay, that's that for our brushed component. And we're just going to exit out of it. And we can do the colors right now, actually. So we're just going to right click on, on, the, on the screen. We go to textures and then we go to vertex color. I'm just gonna uh, take get a duplicate of that, and then I'm gonna connect this to color number one, and I'm gonna connect co connect it to color number two, um, and we're gonna have to pick a color for each of them, if that allows me. Uh, so we're just gonna have to go to our picture here, looking fine, and we're gonna pick uh, two colors. So one of them, it can be the lighter color, such as that one. And the second one can be something darker, such as this one. And if you didn't know, you can basically pick a color from anywhere on your screen, whatever that you see on your screen in Keyshot. So that's, that's a really nice feature that I really like. Um, so again, we're just gonna press uh, C to see how it looks, it looks very dark um, so we're just gonna increase this one a little bit make it less saturated and 
This is one. Oh, yeah. That's why. No wonder why it looks so dark. I guess I forgot to, uh, to do this one. All right, so we're gonna do something lighter again. And okay. And press C to look. Okay. Now that looks better. Um, you do want to change these two. You want the, uh, the the background color be the lighter one. So and then uh, we do want to make this a little darker, perhaps. Okay, I I believe it looks good. As always, uh, you can just play with it as much as you want, as much as you feel like um, you need until you get it right. So you don't have to follow all these numbers that I'm doing. And I believe this one needs to be a little more saturated, the background. I can do 55 CD. And I believe the, the, the color is good. So the next thing we want to do, we want to add those knots. Um, that you, you, you saw like these, these knots here. Uh, so we're just going to right click on our uh, screen. We go to materials. No, we go to textures. And we go to wood advanced. Uh, we click C again, or press C, and this is uh, our wood material. And we obviously don't want uh, the, the rings, we just want the nuts. Uh, so we go to here, and uh, we can increase the density. Let's do two. Uh, let's do more. Let's do four. And let's do perhaps ten. I think it looks fine, not order size, the distortion, we want it to be a little distorted, but not by a lot. And branch scale. Hmm. Yeah, 25 is fine. Uh, grain, uh, I'm, I'm just going to leave everything else because the only thing we need is this section. And I'm going to show you how to only use this section. So the density, I think it's still too much, so let's do a three. Well, that didn't do anything. Uh, I believe it's this the age. Let's do let's change the age. Okay, yeah, eight is looking better. And let's do twenty-five. So the borders are obviously thicker. And uh, we're just gonna press C again, and we're gonna connect this connect this to uh, contrast. So when you connect it, if you press C on brushed, you can see that. We have the, the lines here, the rings, uh, the knots here. Um, and we can remove the ones that we don't want by actually changing the color to black or white. Let's see. So we're just going to double click on it. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to click, I'm, I'm going to uh, change all the colors here. So let's do, yeah, it's white. Let's do white. So they all need to be white. There we go. As you can see, we don't have the rings anymore, uh, so we only have the circle-looking things, and we want them to be a little darker. Uh, so I could make the border almost black and make the main color a little darker. Okay, very cool. I'm gonna change this to six, perhaps it's too much. I think. And I'm going to increase this one, actually. All right. OK. Uh, so we're just going to press C again to exit out of it. I'm, I'm just going to connect this to, to, actually, we want this to be plastic. So plastic, and I'm going to be connecting this to diffuse. So we don't have to uh, keep pressing C. And I'm going to change the roughness to 1. We don't want it to be shiny and all bright. Uh, so the next thing we want to do, we want to make the circles look uh, not so much like circles. Uh, we want to add some like border looking things. Uh, you'll see in a minute what I mean by that. Uh, so right click on it. Uh, we go to where is it, textures. We go to mesh again. I love using uh, mesh texture. And we scroll down and we want it to be line the shape you want to be aligned and I want this to be a nine degree angle 
And so I, uh, the, the, the width and the, well, not the width, but, but the, it is the width. The, the width of the lines are too much, so we're just going to do 0.25. I think 0.25 is good. And I'm going to change the pattern space pattern spacing to 2, perhaps. Yes, I believe 2 is good. And we're just going to add a little bit of uh, jitter and distortion to just make it look a little bit random. Um, Should be fine. Very well. Okay, uh, so we have to connect this to our not color, um, which we can zoom in and we can connect this to this plus sign here, and we go to not color. And as you can see, the 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 the, circ the inside of the circle disappeared. Uh, so we don't want everything to disappear. Uh, we just want it a little bit to be faded. So we're just going to double click on mesh and we're going to change the background to something darker perhaps. So something like this. And then you can also uh, play with that one. Maybe like make it lighter or just white at all. Uh, so I'm just going to keep it at, white, uh, at black right now because I think it looks uh, better to an extent. And I think the our not density is too much, uh, so let's just do one, two or one. Is anything changing? Uh, distortion. Alright, there we go. Let's do twenty-five again, uh, so we don't have too many circles going, uh, going on. Okay, so that's that for our knots for now. We can change them later again, and we're gonna want the the lines in between the planks that I was talking about at the beginning of the, vid the video. So we're just going to do another mesh, uh, textures, mesh, and we want it to be line. So we're just going to press C here, and we go down, we change this to line, and we want it to be the other way around, so we're going to change the angle to 90, 90 degrees, and um, it's way too thick, so we're just going to do one perhaps, I think, Let's do 0.75. I think one is also too thick. And we're gonna change the pattern spacing to like a hundred or so. No, that's too much. Let's do 75. Uh, I think that's good. Yeah, 75 looks good. Uh, so that's that. And we're gonna have to make a a label for our ma main material. So I'm gonna oh boy, I'm gonna um, duplicate this one by uh, holding Control Alt, and we're just gonna duplicate it. I'm going to connect this to label, and I'm going to be connecting to this to opacity, and uh, we want it to be the other way around, so we want the lines to look darker. So we're just going to click on this connection line here, and we go to color invert, and as you can see, we have uh, we have that thing going on, and we do want to change the color of our label. Uh, so let me see, where was it? Oh, here. Uh, so I think, let's do 25, 70, 56, 25, 70, 56, and there we go. Looks pretty good. I like it. And then we can go even darker, so it looks more obvious that there are like lines going on. So we can change this to 50, and I like this. So the next thing you want to do, you want to just uh, um, add the bumps. So you just connect this brush to this bump here. And I think the bump is too much, so we're just going to reduce it to like 0.1 or something. And we're going to add this one to the bump here. And uh, the bump should be up one. Yeah, that's it, guys. And let me know if you learned anything, because I know this is a material that some, some of us students uh, struggle with in, in Keyshot, and not everyone can like, achieve this material. Let me know if it was helpful by leaving a comment down in the comment section. And uh, let me know what you think of these videos, uh, if you follow them or not, and please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.